Since Russia started its invasion in February, Ukraine has received a lot of different weapons from the West. While these weapons will be extremely useful for Ukraine, an indigenous system has also made its presence felt. It's the R-111 Stugna P, which is also known as SCIF in export modification. It's been responsible for the destruction of many Russian tanks and armored vehicles. Another locally made weapon with a lot of potential is now entering the conflict, the Alligator Anti-Material Rifle. It weighs 22.5 kilograms, or 49.6 pounds, has a 1.2 meter barrel, 47 inches, and an overall length of 2 meters, 79 inches. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia has reasons to fear Ukraine's massive Alligator Anti-Material Rifle. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Alligator is developed by Snipex. It's a Ukrainian, long-range, magazine-fed, anti-material rifle of 14.5 by 114 mm caliber. Snipex is specialized in designing and manufacturing anti-material rifles. Anti-material rifles are designed for destroying enemy bunkers, lightly armored vehicles, radar systems, communication equipment, parked aircraft, fuel storage facilities, etc. The Alligator Rifle was first introduced in June 2020 on the official Snipex Facebook page. Based on the state examination's results, Snipex Alligator Rifle has been accepted by the Armed Forces of Ukraine. It was officially adopted by the Armed Forces of Ukraine on the 2nd of March, 2021. The Snipex Alligator long-range, large-caliber, magazine-fed, repeating rifle is designed to engage moving and stationary targets, vehicles, communications and air defense systems, aircraft and parking areas, fortified fixed defensive positions, dugouts, etc. The box magazine is detachable and holds five rounds of ammunition. The initial speed of a bullet is 980 meters per second. The effective range of a bullet shot is up to 2,000 meters, and the maximum range of the bullet is up to 7,000 meters. It can penetrate 30 millimeters of armor at a distance of 100 meters, or a 10 millimeter armor plate from a distance of 1.5 kilometers, or 0.93 miles, with a single bullet. The rifle is designed taking into account all the requirements for weapons with high precision shooting. Barrel locking is achieved through a rotating bolt. The floating barrel is in free recoil when the bullet flies out, which provides greater accuracy of the bullet hit. The rifle demonstrates an acceptable level of recoil during shooting. Recoil is suppressed due to the muzzle break, the effect of a recoil isolator, an elastic multi-layer shoulder pad, and optimally balanced weight. The rifle has a height-adjustable cheek rest, which can be positioned for right or left-handed shooting. That is, it's suitable for both right and left-handed shooters. For ease of aiming, the rifle is equipped with a folding bipod and adjustable rear support, allowing for fine adjustment to the shooter. The rifle has a Picatinny rail with 35 MOA gradient on which various sighting devices can be mounted. In order to ease transport of this gigantic rifle, the barrel and muzzle can be detached, allowing storage of the gun in a relatively compact case. U.S. General David Petraeus told Jake Tapper on CNN in March that the Ukrainians have very, very good snipers and they've just been picking the Russians off left and right. Ukrainian forces now possess a variety of long-range rifles that include Barrett M107A1 50 caliber and Savage 110 with 338 Lagua mag. It's also known that Ukrainians have been actively using long-range rifles to hit vulnerable portions of tanks like optics 
and take out vehicles carrying fuel. The Alligator anti-material rifle will be a powerful addition to Ukraine's inventory and Russian forces will surely be wary going forward. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.